In this segment, I'm going to talk to you about the different ways to actually swing your mallet, hold your mallet, and hit the ball. Now, with your mallet, uh, you have to feel comfortable with this. If you're a golfer or a baseball player or a softball player, you're automatically going to hold your mallet like this, and you're automatically probably going to take a golfer's stance or a baseball stance and swing the ball like this. That's fine. Younger players may want to take their mallet and spread their hands out. Even though you're off of the leather and stuff, you may have better control holding the mallet lower and then one up top so that when you swing it, you've actually got more leverage and a little bit better aim when you're coming down on it. This is a more advanced um, way to hit it, but it's also, when you're a golfer, um, it's more uh, valuable when aiming. Now, there is one more way to hit this shot, and uh, that's through the legs. You'll see a lot of old timers uh, doing this, and a lot of people still use it to this day, and it's basically through the legs. Real simple. You can hold your mallet uh, just the way you did as a golfing swing. You can change it up and hold lower, you can hold higher, it doesn't really matter, you just want to make sure it's comfortable for you. I've even seen people where they've put it in their belly button and it gives them more control as far as where they're going with that. But the whole idea is to just simply swing the mallet back and through and that gives you a real good aim because you're actually on target here and your eyes are on target. Um, it's just up to you. Play with it different ways. The one thing you don't want to do is do not hit it with the side of the mallet.